You need to use ChatGPT in your work, but you're afraid about your data privacy. What if I tell you that you can run your own large language model at your own server? And even better, at your own Raspberry Pi. And even more, you will be able to access your own secure ChatGPT remotely. In the tutorial, I want to show you how you can run at your own Raspberry Llama language model and set up remote connection to it. Let's go. First part of our tutorial, we will execute on the Linux computer with minimum 16 GB of RAM. This is unfortunately the minimum requirement that needs to be completed to build and quantize our model. So I hope you have access to Linux computer. And if yes, let's continue. First of all, let's download the model weights using the torrent link I pasted into the description. In the content of our download files, you need to uncheck all of the models except of the smallest one, the 7 B or 7 billion model. This is the single, the simplest model we need. So, not to trash your memory, just download only that model. And while it's downloaded, we can proceed with our tutorial. First of all, you can make update of your system. And after that, you need to clone GitHub repository of Lama. Git clone, github.com, uh, Gerganov, Lama.cpp. After that, we need to install Python libraries namely Torch, NumPy and CentOS Peace. After that we need to, to install some imported C++ packages, um, namely sudo apt install G++ and build essential. And next we need to go to our Lama CP folder we downloaded and execute make command. Next, we need to wait until our torrent will finish the download. After our model and tokenizer files was downloaded, let's copy our model and tokenizer files to the models folder inside of our Lama CP directory. After that, we need to execute procedures for which we need our 60 GB of RAM in our computer. Namely, Using prepared Python script, we need to convert our model to GGML format. And next, what we need to do is to quantize our model to 4 bits. That means that we will, let's say, compress our model or drastically will lower the amount of RAM needed to run that model without big loss of performance. And now we can see in the model 7p directory, we can find our quantized model. Now, please copy the model to the USB drive and after that insert the drive to your Raspberry Pi. Now, let's power on our Raspberry Pi and let's insert the USB with the model into it. It's recommended to use the most high-performing Raspberry Pi, namely Raspberry Pi 4B with 8GB of RAM. Also, we'll need to use the Raspbian operating system in the 64-bit version. That's because we'll install the PyTorch library, which runs only in 64-bit operating system. You can find and install the 64-bit system using, for example, Raspberry Pi Imager. First of all, let's install the duplicity application into our Raspberry Pi to be able to access and control our Raspberry Pi remotely. In dataplicity.com, let's register our email and let's copy special code we get down there. Let's paste that code to the terminal of our Raspberry Pi and let's wait until our dataplicity agent will install. Okay, after refreshing the dataplicity page, we can find our device here, which could be now accessed remotely from any place in the world. Okay, next I will update my settings to use beta program to have just more nice looking interface, but it's totally not the obligatory step. And now can, I can access my Raspberry Pi. Let's change our user to Pi user using su pi command and provide our password. And let's go to home pi directory. And here let's repeat some steps we done in our Linux PC. Namely, let's clone Lama CPP repository. After that, let's install needed Python libraries, Torch, and NumPy, and Sentence Piece. After that, let's install G++ and Build Essential. And let's go to Lama CPP directory. Okay, here we need to execute make command to make it. And now it's time to copy our model in the appropriate place. To find our pen drive in the operating system, let's use the 
ls blk command and here we can see our usb drive under the media by usb drive pass let's go here and let's see what's inside and we can find our model here let's move that model from usb drive to models folder it's important now to be in the llama.cpp directory and be careful to not change that name ggml model q40 bin after that we need to wait a little bit as that model weighs around 4 gigabytes and now we can try our chatbot but okay i mistook directory where i need to paste our model inside the model directory we need to create 7b directory and we need to copy our model inside of the models slash 7b directory after that we can open the example chat uh, using dot slash examples slash chat dot sh command and voila our chatbot is running and we have access to it remotely let's try to ask him something let's start from simple mathematical question what is 2 plus 2 times 2 and our chat pop answers 4 which is as you can guess not the right answer but well pure large language models are not good at mass okay let's ask him about some common knowledge and bob knows that capital of poland is warsaw and now let's ask him something more twisted and fun what is the difference between slovakia and slovenia Slovenia is sovereign state that lies south and central Europe. It's member of EU and NATO. Slovakia is landlocked country in central Europe. Slovakia is a member of the EU, NATO and United Nations. Well, that answer looks correct. And well, we can see that even for such strange questions, our LM managed to find good answer. And that way we can connect to our large language model in our own Raspberry Pi remotely and use it without being afraid about our data privacy. Well, to be honest, the tutorial was mostly for showing possibilities of running your large language model in own device and maybe demonstrate you that there is nothing too afraid. But in fact, for many tasks, to be honest, that small 7 billion parameter blama will be just not enough, it's not so intelligent. But still, you can run llamas with more parameters or some other up-to-date models like Falcon, like Llama 2 and many of them you can still run at your own hardware maybe not in Raspberry Pi already but if you have some Linux server you can run it and also set up remote connection with Dataplicity to it Thanks for watching, see you!